Now, TJ, the main event of this fight night card, it is Vicente Luque taking on Bilal Muhammad. Luque, a minus 180 favorite. I know it's a fight you're excited about. I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, it's a fun one. We've actually seen this fight before. These two fought six years ago. Uh, Luque starts him in just over a minute. Uh, and while this fight will probably go longer, I think we're going to see the same victor. So, Muhammad, we've seen him go on a little bit of a run here. He hasn't lost in seven fights. He does have that no contest against Leon Edwards with the eye poke in that. But uh, Muhammad, his wrestling is kind of what's carried him and his striking. He's more of a point striker. He, he just doesn't threaten finish. He doesn't have power. He doesn't land heavy. And that's a problem with Luke because Luke, he stalks you. He freaking rams your legs is but you know the leg kicks the boxing it, it, it's just always coming at you and it's always coming with power and the striking is going to belong to luke again in a big way uh where muhammad has an advantage he is a better wrestler and that's well and good but let me tell you luke's front chokes are probably the most underrated i've ever seen you know in the ufc alone he has five front choke wins either by Darcy or anaconda uh, and if a wrestler puts their neck in the wrong spot, it's instant. I mean, Luke grabs these things and he will put you out. If you don't tap, you're going to sleep. So any advantage Muhammad was going to have in this fight, Luke has something to counter it and there's no advantage in the standup. So if Luke threatens with one of these, makes him start thinking about the takedowns. Oh, maybe I don't want to do this. Luke is going to run away with the fight. If he cinches one of those in, he's going to end the fight. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get another finish, but I think he wins fairly comfortably. So I have no problem at all in the minus 180 on Luke.